This is a quick video on how to use paint.net um, to add, well actually I'll be removing text from an image and adding text back. A lot of people want to uh, include their URL or their domain. Okay, so I have paint.net pulled up and we'll just go to file, open. And just you have to find your image that you want on your hard drive. I just have, happen to have mine set up. And I'm going to use this cow as an example. So we'll maximize this. Get, get all these extra things out of the way. Okay, in the left-hand column, you'll notice uh, tools. These, these will be all the different tools that you can use to manipulate or edit your images. And on the right side, history. Uh, kind of just a history of all your steps that you did. On the lower left would be the different colors you can select. And on the right side, <clears throat> um, once you understand, you get more in depth, you start dealing with layers. Let's say you can put, um, example, this image of a cow would be one layer. And then you add this no traffic, no money, that'll be another. Well, when you add text, there's no layer on this this program. But let's say you added this button, the join to get join today button, that would appear as another layer down here. So you would have your background, um, say your cow image, then your join today. Okay, just a brief uh, overview. So what we have here is the link here. It has to be removed first before you can enter your URL. So the easiest way to do that is to select this color picker icon, click on it, and just click right next to the, the area. What you're doing is selecting the color of that area around this link here. Okay, I left clicked. So that kept the, the color, kept track of the color of this background. Then we can use um, paintbrush. And as you can see now, it's pretty small icon or a small paintbrush. So you can, up on, on the top left, you can increase the brush width to whatever you want. And then now it's, it's larger, as you can see the mouse cursor. And you just left click on your mouse, hold it down, and wipe it out. There you go. Just kind of drag your mouse around. Okay, now we'll just add text. Click on the T here, which is text. Select an area where you want your text. Um, down in this left-hand corner, the colors. It's white, so if you start typing your, your text, it's going to appear as white over white. So select a color. Oh, let's do a dark blue. Okay, so it'll be this dark blue color, and you can see from the cursor. The blinking cursor, it's, it's now dark blue. Um, it appears small, so you can select the different heights. Let's say 20, 22. Okay, and just add your link here whatever your link is or your domain is okay and you can see this little crosshairs here left click on that and you can place your link wherever you want all right I hope that helps you and have fun all right I'm back again I forgot the ending part I realize some of you may not know or understand how to save this once you edited your images. So what we're going to do is go to up in the left hand corner file and save as. It's going to open up a window and just find wherever you want to or keep track of wherever you want to save your file. I'm going to save it in the same folder and name it. I'm going to name this one, um, let's see, cow with URL. Okay. Make sure when you're dealing with file names 
especially with HTML file names, you don't want to leave spaces. So that's why I always use the underscores. And you can select your your image type as JPEG. Normally you'll, you'll be using JPEG. There's also GIF, which is normally for animated, and PNG. Um, PNG is supposed to be better quality, but it's mainly for um, those images where you have a, an invisible background. And that's the only way you maintain and keep the invisible background is by changing or saving as uh, PNG. Okay, so in this case, we'll save it as a JPEG. I renamed it and click on save. Um, just click on OK and that saved it. Alright, so when I go back into my um, folder, images 2, here's the cow with the URL. There it is. Okay, that's the end.